We all know the royal family has a huge number of rules they're expected to follow. But did you know there is a reason you won't ever see Meghan Markle wearing red nail polish at any time soon? We'll let you in on some of the seemingly strange beauty rules that members of the royal family must obey. But first, make sure that you hit the subscribe button to get the latest videos from the taco. Let's get started. Nail Polish Apparently, wearing brightly colored nail polish simply won't do for women in the royal family. When going in for a manicure, they are forced to choose from neutral or light colors. But just because they need to choose something quite specific doesn't mean they need to spend big bucks on special royal nail polish. In fact, Queen Elizabeth swears by Essie nail polish in the color ballet slippers. Reportedly, she owns tons of bottles just to make absolutely certain that she never runs out. Kate Middleton took her cue from her grandmother-in-law and selected a similar Essie shade in Allure. So when Meghan Markle gets her nails done, you can bet that she won't be picking up a bold shade. According to manicurist Carla Kay, ballet slippers is a great choice because it pairs well with all skin tones. We can see why the queen wouldn't want her family members wearing obscenely long fake nails painted garish colors, but condemning everyone to nudes and pale pinks just seems a bit harsh. It remains to be seen whether Meghan Markle will choose the same nail polish as the queen or find her own favorite shade within the rules. Simple Face Considering that members of the royal family are only allowed to wear certain colors of nail polish, you can probably guess how strict the makeup rules are. Women in the royal family are expected to keep their makeup simple. You won't see any of them wearing anything more extreme than a subtle smoky eye. Kate Middleton prefers wearing a few swipes of eyeliner, minimal eyeshadow, and a pale pink or nude lipstick. Meghan Markle has kept her makeup simple and within the rules, although she did make a daring move one day for lunch with the queen. Many devoted fans of the royal family gasped gasped in horror when she wore a shiny lip gloss to take her meal with the queen. That's definitely a major violation of this royal beauty rule, but maybe she got a pass for being the family's newest member. Or maybe Queen Elizabeth remembered her own wild streak. Back in 1952, she was getting ready for her coronation and wanted a special lipstick for the occasion. She commissioned the brand Clarins to create a red lipstick to match her robes for the day. The brand still holds a royal warrant, so if you want to look like a rebellious queen, you have that option, even as a commoner. Hair Women in the royal family do have some more freedom when it comes to their hair. They need to have it neat and polished at all times, but they're allowed to choose from plenty of hairstyles. Most of the time, they opt for simple, classic hairstyles, which makes sense given their status in busy lifestyles. But if they're attending a formal event, they'd better plan on adding a unique hair accessory. They wear hats and a great variety of them as well. A long time ago, it was considered extremely proper to wear hats for all notable occasions. While most people no longer follow that etiquette rule, the royal family persists. After all, part of what makes them so special is that they simply hold themselves to much higher standards than the rest of us do. Wearing a big glamorous hat can be fun, but you'd best not wear it past 6 o'clock in the evening. At that time, a lady must swap out her hat in favor of a tiara. If she meets the proper conditions, that is. Only married women or women currently getting married are allowed to wear tiaras in the royal family. That's why you see them wearing tiaras so often on their wedding days to mark the special occasion touch-ups. Before Meghan Markle joined the family, Kate Middleton represented the epitome of royal grace and beauty. She had been taking care of her own cosmetic needs since long before she joined the family and continued to do so. We love that she always keeps her makeup simple yet elegant and has established a fast and easy daily makeup routine. Many women aren't shy about pulling out a compact mirror in order to assess how well their makeup is holding up. Reapplying lipstick, fixing errant eyeliner, and dabbing at foundation are pretty standard and fast beauty fixes. But if you're a member of the royal family, it's considered positively unseemly to be spotted touching up your makeup in public. Doing your own makeup for an event can be a lot of pressure, but even more so when you'll be judged if you try to fix something later. Although the no bright lipstick rule might actually help here, since you're way less likely to notice some neutral lipstick if it accidentally gets on your teeth. Since their makeup has to stay pristine for hours at a time, it's a essential that women in the royal family learn to use quality primers and makeup setting sprays. Color Coordinated it can be tough to put together the perfect outfit for a big event. It's even more challenging when you know that all eyes will be on you and you're representing your country. Now imagine having to do that many times over. 
just ask Kate Middleton, who is to carefully coordinate both her outfit and those of her husband and children. Check out the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge walking with George and Charlotte throughout the Berlin airport. They're each wearing a touch of blue, and this serves a very important purpose. The first thing is that it makes them appear more like a cohesive unit. Also, to further show how much thought went into this, they're dressed in the corn flower, which is Germany's national flower. So many times when you see a picture of Kate, William, and their children, you'll see them dressed in colors that subtly coordinate with one another. Not only does this look natural, but it adds a retro feeling to the ensemble. It's easy to feel nostalgic just looking at this wholesome royal family with their beautiful smiles and tasteful matching outfits. Purses We all know Meghan Markle has defied royal tradition at times, but sometimes it's ways that are so subtle, only the most eagle-eyed person would notice. When she attended her first royal engagement event with Prince Harry, she was spotted carrying a burgundy and navy Strathbury tote bag. Women in the royal family are expected to carry small clutches instead of large purses with straps. There are a few practical reasons for this, and one is that it discourages people from trying to shake hands with members of the royal family. It may seem rude, but just think about the legions of people who would love to shake hands with them from day to day. Traditionally, it's considered impolite to reach out for a handshake with a member of the royal family, and having your hands full discourages people from trying. To avoid showing off more than they intend, women in the royal family employ what's used as a cleavage clutch. They strategically hold their clutch to their chest to keep things PG in front of their fans and cameras. Sheer Beauty we mentioned earlier that the royal family prefers to dress in traditional styles and observe antiquated standards of attire. When it comes to sheer clothing, women are always expected to have some covering their legs. Many people don't wear pantyhose anymore, but for the royal family, they're a must. This has been a royal family tradition for ages, and Queen Elizabeth has never been photographed without a trusty pair of pantyhose. Kate Middleton follows this rule, and her polished stockings have helped to bring them back in style. When we spotted Meghan Markle sans pantyhose, many people were shock. Many wondered if she was simply unaware of the rule or made the conscious decision not to follow it. However, she did go sheer for her official engagement photos, which also had tongues wagging. Meghan Markle wore a sheer embroidered dress, which was a stark contrast to the conservative dress that Kate Middleton had worn for her engagement photos. All engagement outfits for professional photos need to be approved by the Queen first, which means the Queen had to have given her stamp of approval for this sheer outfit. Pants. You will always see her in pantyhose, but you're not likely to see Queen Elizabeth wearing a pair of jeans. Etiquette-wise, jeans are seen as an exceptionally casual article of clothing, which is why you will almost never see members of the royal family wearing them. Of course, context matters here. If they're simply out for a casual day or taking the dogs for a walk, jeans are no problem. We're used to seeing Kate Middleton wear the occasional pair of jeans, but they're always in great shape and fit her impeccably. When Meghan Markle was spotted wearing a pair of stylish ripped jeans, people were quite surprised. Not only was this look way too casual for a member of the royal family, but it broke some pretty important fashion rules. Meghan Markle will probably always be compared to her sister-in-law Kate Middleton. Since Kate has blazed the way with impeccable style, Meghan's outfits are placed under even more harsh scrutiny. Function and Form the royal family is expected to dress well, but there are a lot of practical things going on behind the scenes. We mentioned earlier that shiny lipsticks and glosses are against the rules, and it's not for any arbitrary reason. Any gloss fan knows that it's zero fun when your hair gets caught up in your lip gloss. And if you're a member of the royal family, you just know the cameras are going to capture that awkward moment, which occurs as you desperately try to unstick your hair from your lips. In 2011, we saw some photos of Kate Middleton dressed in a lovely yellow Jenny Packham dress, which which unfortunately caught a bit of a breeze. This could have easily turned into a very embarrassing situation for the Duchess, but luckily the Queen has a solution for such incidences. According to one of her couturiers, the Queen has small weights sewn into the hems of her outfits. Unlike pretty much everything else about the Queen, these weights are nothing fancy. They're the same type that you would use to hold down curtains in your home, but they get the job done and prevent her clothes from blowing around in the wind. Gloves there was a period of time in which members of the royal family were compelled to wear gloves at black tie events. It's no longer mandatory, but as a result, you'll typically see gloves worn, especially for official engagements. The royal family ends up shaking hands and interacting with a wide variety of people, and that exposes them to a lot of germs. It wouldn't do to have them constantly ill, so wearing gloves is a quick and simple way to prevent spreading germs around with the public. If a member of the royal family does decide to wear gloves to a formal event, there are even more rules about how they should be worn properly. 
easily. You can see them on while traveling to an event, shaking hands, standing in a receiving line, or dancing. If you want to snack on some appetizers, you need to take your gloves off. They also shouldn't be worn at the dinner table, which makes sense because of the whole germ thing. To remove your gloves in a proper royal way, pull them off finger by finger, then simply sit them atop your lap and enjoy your meal. What do you think about the beauty rules that the royal family has to follow? Let us know what you think in the comments section and then click subscribe for more from the taco. Bye for now!